Hello everyone, welcome back to the new episode of my tutorial series on software development. In the previous episode, we have successfully added CRUD functionality that is create, read, update and delete functionality in our user module. In this episode, we will add a source functionality in our user module. So without further delay, let's move to our tutorial series. Uh, first of all, let's start our project. Uh, I will go to my project that is any store and open my solution any store dot solution So this is our user form we need to add source functionality in our user module uh, first of all we will create a method uh, to search users uh, based on the keywords passed from this text box so let's go to the solution explorer then inside DAL uh, double click on user DAL so open our user DAL so here we will create another method to search user from database using keywords so I'll create a region region search user user on database using keywords as in the region and this method will be similar to the source method we created earlier so I will copy all the codes from the source method that is public data table select so just copy all of this so control and C copy and I will paste in search region so paste and I will just minimize the select keyboard so uh, here's uh, error so a uh, single class cannot have two method with same name so I will change the select to search and we need to pass uh, keywords uh, in this method so we will pass a variable a string variable that is st string and name will be wrds keywords so we have passed successfully passed our variable in our method so we change select into search and passed a value in our method so now another place where we need to change is here this keyword selects all the users in our database but now we need to select the user based on the keywords that is passed in our user search box so here we will use where uh, keyword that is select asterisk from tbl users where id like percent percent and here we will add keywords i forgot to insert plus to concatenate the variable in our string variable so another is our full name like like single quote and then percentage and then double quote and plus again keywords keywords or or username like single quote then percentage then double quote then plus plus between the plus keywords so let's check if the our column if our user table has id column full name column or username column or not let's check server explorer any store and inside that tables and user tables so we have id we don't have full name we have first name last name and username so i'll change this full name to first name so this will be first name and let's also add also add another for search based on last name also or name like single code then double code then plus plus ky keywords i forgot to add percentage so 
so this query will search our users based on id first name last name or username so don't forget to make this query in your make changes in your query in your search method so this is it this will this is all we need to do just save this control and s then we need to go to the user form user form let's go to user form and select the source box and go to properties we need to add uh, text change event in our text box so select the text box and then go to the properties and click on this thunderbolt icon events and search for text change event so just double click on text change so this will create a text change event so here we need to get get keyword from text box so a string keywords is equal to txt search dot text so we have successfully obtained the value from text box in our string keywords variable so let's check if check if the keywords has value or not if keywords is is not equals to null then if keywords is not null then we will so user based on keywords else so all users from the database so for this we will create a data table so data table dt is equals to what do we have what object we have created for user dal so user dl is dal so we'll use dal dot search and we need to pass the value so it will be keywords so this is it and then we'll show our users in our data grid view so dgv users dot data source is equals to dt so this will show all our users uh, based on keywords in our data grid view so else if the keywords is null that means if we haven't typed anything in our source box then it should show all the users in our database for that data table data table dt is equals to dal dot select so it will select all the users from database then dgv users dot data source is equals to dt so this will select all the users from database so let's save these changes control and s and then run it i'll just click and start let's go to users so here we have three users who have first name vj zone and ken so let's try if this works or not i will type vijy I couldn't type here. I don't know what's happening. Let's check what's the reason. Let's check the properties of our text box. Go to properties. So read only. Where is read only? Read only is true. So I didn't. I was not able to type anything. So I'll just change it to false. Read only is equals to false. So just control and save. If uh, you have uh, changed its properties of read only to true, then you will not be able to type anything. Uh, I was I changed uh, the properties of user ID to read only property to true, so that we could not be we should not ever be able to change to user ID. Uh, I copied uh, this text box and used it here, so I was 
now I, I didn't change its property from read only true to false now I have changed its property of read only to false so I should be able to write here let's run the project start and go to users and type here I will type my name so I type my name so it filtered users based on my first name let's type so if it's empty then it will show all the users in our database so I'll just search based on ID I'll type 2 so it will show the users whose ID is 2 I'll just try to search users based on last name let's type Sina so it will give the users whose last name is Sina so we have successfully added our search feature in our user module so this is it for today uh, in, the, in, in this episode we have successfully added search feature in our user module in the next episode uh, we will create a login form we will design a login form for our application so if you like this video then don't forget to like share and subscribe and if you have any problem related to this video then don't forget to comment i'll reply as soon as possible thanks so much for watching see you soon bye bye